Six-time Emmy Award-winning producer Sean DuPerrin is working on a powerful new documentary about forgiveness. It tells the story of two neighbors, Gary Weinstein and Tom Wellinger. Uh, both lived in Farmington Hills in Michigan. Their homes about a mile apart from each other. The kids went to the same school. Here's where their worlds intersected. Tom Wellinger was driving drunk and killed Gary's wife and children. Unforgivable, but not for Gary. Listen. I knew that this happening to me was for me an opportunity. One of those opportunities was to meet Tom, the man who took his family, the man Gary was already forgiving. Tom asked if I could forgive him. I replied, can you forgive yourself? story is the focus of a documentary called Project Forgive, and Gary joins us along with the producer of the doc, Sean DuPerrin and Gary Weinstein. Nice to have you. Mm. Thanks for Thank being with us. We much. appreciate it. You originally wanted more time. You didn't think the time that the judge was offering for your neighbor and, and former you know, family friend, uh, Tom uh, Wellinger, was, a, was not enough. You were mad about the amount of time. I think he was given um, three counts of second-degree murder. Uh, something like 19 years, 19, and you uh, thought 19 to 30, right? not enough. And now what? you're saying you, you, you want to forgive him. How did well, you make that turn? Well, it's certainly to think that you only get 19 years in behind bars for killing three people does seem to be a little bit less than than what I think it may be deserving. But they explained to me that's the statute, that's the law, that's when you when you plead the way he pleaded and got what he got. Those are the parameters that the uh, law has been set down as a precedent before. Uh, but now, uh, and even shortly after, just noticing that, uh, that that was the time period that's allowed, what, what was there for me was, I need to move on. So forgiveness was really more about you than about Tom? Yes, I think so. So, Sean, why did you think this would be a great documentary? Because you actually, weirdly, knew both men. Yeah. So you were friendly with both families and thought that this was an important story. Yeah, it was a big deal because Judy, my family's business coach, Sammy and Alex, my children babysat Gary's children. And, we, gosh, we've known each other for 15 years. We did a landmark education course about creating your life and learning about forgiveness, and that's how we met. And then to find out about the accident when it happened, and two hours later, to find out it was Tom who created this crash and also in the same moment we know him as a family friend he's a loving kind gracious man and that's when a movie and a dilemma was born alicia you've said you think sometimes the word forgiveness is a misnomer what do you mean you know i work in the field of trauma and my bread and butter is helping people overcome enormous traumatic life events like this and what i've observed is that at the end of the day you could have been justified in spending your life hating this guy yes. and what would it have gained you know and i think it's important to distinguish between the trauma and the take-home trauma what's done is done and now you have a choice about what you do with your thoughts so what we call forgiveness i think is really what you do with your thoughts when you say to yourself i can stew and i can hate but it's not going to do anything i can use that to change legislation i can use that to change the world or i can just focus somewhere else how long did it take you to get there how long was it before you because you must go from i want to i would like to wring that man's neck to saying I am willing to forgive and move on with my own life. In my memory it went very quick. For, huh. for me it was I've got to move forward. In fact yes the the time that he got behind bars might not have been justified in my eyes originally but right away I saw that my community my my children's friends needed me to be strong to explain to them why their why their best friend wasn't back at school well, well, the project is, is called I'm sorry we're, we, I, I, we're out of time so we can't keep talking about it we'll talk about it in the commercial break and then post some of the video online but it's called project forgive yep. and folks who want to help you on Kickstarter because I know your Kickstarter we're project there. we're, we're at very close 000, to get yeah. to your full funding to make Which this whole Monday. documentary yeah. nice to have you joining us this morning we appreciate it thanks for having me still ahead on Star